The Google Lunar X Prize is a competition where teams sign up and compete for a $20 million grand prize. Um, and the grand prize is awarded to the first team that lands a privately funded spacecraft on the surface of the moon. The teams have to return um, high resolution images and video to the Earth and uh, share them with the world. And then they have to take their craft and travel 500 meters from wherever they landed to another spot and repeat what they've called a moon cast. Um, again, they have to send high resolution images, um, dynamic video, um, you have to show a whole panorama of your landing zone. Um, and uh, and for, for our team, the, um, the dynamic video will be us taking off and landing again. Um, we're going to not try to drive or rove, uh, uh, rove to uh, the secondary site, but we're going to try to take off and land again to a new site. And so people wonder, why is this important? Why do this again? Why go back to the moon? And um, I like to answer that question from the end game, from the long view. Um, uh, not, not what happens in the next five years or ten years, but what might happen in the next 50 years or so. Throughout the space age, we have seen things which once were science fiction become a reality. Um, the, not only in the technology that has been um, created, but also in the discoveries that are made. And those things that we see in science fiction today, travel to other planets, life on other planets, and um, travel beyond our solar system, can be a reality in the future, but today we have to work on the things that we can do next. And what we're doing next is we're taking the established industry that NASA has created, that our government has given to us through their, through their work. They've given us this, this structure and the technology to do this, and we are taking it, and private industry has an opportunity here to build on that and to do exploration, not, for the, not through the auspices of their government, but to build private industry in space.